Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your weekly love forecast horoscope for July 3rd to the 9th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. And if you guys are a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second YouTube channel, JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. All right, my darling. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to be talking about your day to day, your love interest feelings, the block slays and challenges and the overall outcome. And guys, it really helps me a lot when you hit that like button because the algorithm and I really appreciate when you do. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, what's going to have my Virgo's romantic love life for July 3rd to the night? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Virgo, let's take a look here. Okay. All right. All right. And this is going to be three cards for your love interest feelings. This is going to be for the blockage this week, and this is going to be for the overall outcome. So remember, Virgo, this is going to cover July 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. Virgo, feel free. Come back. Check this out. Let me know how it plays out in your individual situations in the comments below. Guys, I do read my comments. I do appreciate when you come back. And I do really enjoy hearing and getting confirmation to, from you, from you guys, about how it played out for your week. Okay, so, okay. Well, let's take a look at the energy at the bottom of the deck here. So, mm, so some passionate stuff coming up this week. Okay, so let's take a look at what, how that's going to play out. All right, so let's take a look at the blockage. All right, we got the Ace of Cups. There may be a new offer of love, Ace of Cups energy. There may be concerns about love. Does this person love me? Do I love them? Okay, there could be some kind of new potential here. There's curiosity. Okay, is there something here around this? But let's see what this is about. Why is the Ace of Cups here for the blockage for Virgo this week? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Virgo, let's take a look. Okay, this could be a new person. I see this like the full card energy. Um, it's like, should I go for it? Should I take a risk? Why is this happening now? What is up with this? Okay. Is there going to be an equal exchange? If I love them, will they love me? Okay, so let's see what that's about. Let's move this out of the way and let's see day to day now. How is this playing out here? Okay, so... Wow, you guys, you start out the week with romance coming in, okay, with the Knight of Cups energy. So someone's like, whether you guys are aware of it as of yet, um, this could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Someone's trying to be real romantic with you, okay, on the third. So let's take a look what that's about. What's going to have my, my Virgo's romantic love life for July 3rd to the 9th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so there could be some kind of marriage or commitment around going on here and some romance. Okay, so let's get more information here, Virgo. This is getting serious. Okay. What's going to be Virgo's romantic love life for July 3rd to the 9th? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Interesting. So some kind of huge offer, some kind of potential, someone you work with, someone that you have a business with possibly with the money card energy. Let's see what this is about. All right, what's gonna happen my Virgo's romantic love life July 3rd to the 9th? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Someone's definitely being very pure in their intentions, looking for loyalty and devotion, looking at you like, wow, I want to marry you. So if you're not merely, or there's not already marriage involved here somehow, this person's looking at you like Virgo. I'm interested, okay? I'm trying to get romantic with you. I'm seeing you as somebody, I'm not trying to go anywhere, Virgo. So it looks like someone's trying to stand up, speak their truth, and confess something here with a king of swords energy. I'm going to tell you what you want to hear, Virgo. Mm -hmm. There's concerns about some kind of infringing party here, okay? This could be a family member, a friend, okay? It could be another person. Uh, there also, this can represent self-doubt. So let's see what that's about. Hmm. <laughs> We got the ex-partner card coming up, Virgo. Oh, my goodness. Okay, what's going on here this week? Okay, let's keep going. 
Okay, so some trust issues. Hmm. Some trust issues because of a person, an X energy. Hmm. You guys can let me know what's up with that in the comments below. All right, so we got the four of pentacles energy. Virgo, someone's trying to hold on to you, trying to invest some time. Let's talk about what the four of pentacles is. If you think about it like this, it's going to help you, my new readers. Okay, four of pentacles can be seen in two different ways. Okay, one way I've seen this in personal readings is when somebody needs to forgive someone else and they're holding on to that emotional baggage. Okay, the other way I've seen this in personal readings is four of pentacles can be talking about I want to hold on to you for dear life, okay? I'm not trying to lose you, okay? I want to invest time in this connection. Think about when you save money. So if you were doing a financial reading, Four of Pentacles is like, hey, I'm saving money, okay? So this person's like, I'm going to hold on to you. This is an investment, okay? I'm not going anywhere. I want to hold on to this investment, right? I'm, I'm saving money here. I'm, I'm putting this away, right? So Virgo, that's how someone's viewing you. There seems to be the stuck or stagnant energy here and some worries and concerns about love. Because why? Because this person's like, I've invested time in this. I'm holding on to you. You're not going nowhere, okay? I want to be with you. I want to hold on to you. That's it. Look, I'm looking at you like Virgo. Look, I'm looking for loyalty, devotion, marriage, okay? I don't want to have any trust issues with this ex energy here. Okay, this person from the past, because I'm in love with you. Right? I'm not going anywhere. Okay, we see a relationship here. And now if there isn't already a relationship here, there's a relationship forming here. But a love relationship here, this is a soulmate card. This is um, a love commitment here. Okay, And we see that there is somebody is on the same page with you. They're like, Virgo, I'm seeing you the same way that you're seeing me. I'm in love with you. Okay, I'm in this. We see that there is a sense of, I don't want to be foolish about this situation when it comes to family, family conflict, or wanting some kind of family long-term situation. I want to resolve this. I want to heal this situation with you, Virgo. All right, so we see here on the 7th, you get to this place where you're like, should I walk away from this situation, you know, or I want to avoid this? So. For me, when I see this in personal readings, okay? Eight of Cups, again, can stand for two different things I've seen. Somebody who's like, oh, I want to walk away from this whole situation. I'm so fed up. Or I don't want to deal with my emotions right now. I want to avoid it. Okay, Eight of Cups energy. So let's see what that's about. We see that there is this wife, this commitment, this obligation. What's this about? And there's a sense of confusion here. And we see that there's some kind of blessing in disguise coming in, okay? Wow, that was a really interesting day there. <laughs> Look at this. There's so many contradiction cards. It's like, I want to walk away from somebody I'm committed to and I'm confused because I know that there's some kind of blessing. Okay. So some of you, there is marriage involved in this situation. Okay, so let's keep going. I'm defeated about this situation. Should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away? It feels so much regret about what happened. I want to talk with you about this. Because there's so much potential. Oh, okay. So someone is dealing with a marriage situation, either you or the other person. And there's a new love connection here. It's very romantic. There's something very much forming here. And the other person's questioning, should I stay in my situation? Should I walk away? Mm. Whoa. There's some complex stuff coming on this week. Yeah, definitely you guys may want to check out the monthlies as well to get more information. I do, did post a July reading. So, all right. So, okay, by the end of the week, there's a sense of confusion. What should I do? Seven of Cups energy. Cause of this love connection. Whoa. It has to be safe for me to love. And I need to take an action. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Okay. So definitely there is a love connection forming here. But there's some issues because there's an infringing party or marriage somehow, or there's a long-term relationship already established here. And there's a blessing here of some kind of potential and an action that needs to be taken to walk away from a relationship for a new beginning. Oh my goodness. And it could be somebody you work with here or something about money and finance around this situation. Okay. 
So you see, money and finance and, and kind of X is causing stress or an infringing party. We see family, family conflict, confusions, communication about it has to be safe for me to love. Or there could be a situation where someone's still connected to another person financially as well, which could be causing complications here for, for you, Virgo. Okay. We see a marriage, a commitment, and we see this infringing party in a stuck energy. I don't want to be foolish about this commitment, this obligation. I regret this situation, and I have love. There's definitely a deep love connection here, which is the reason why there's a sense of confusion. Okay, so we see romance. We see a confession. I want to hold on to you. There's a soulmate connection, a relationship. I want to walk away from this defeated energy. I'm confused about what to do. Seven of Cups energy. Whoa. So definitely there are some choices to be made here by the end of the week. All right, let me move this out of the way. Let's see how your love interest feels about you. There's a love interest that has a lot of regret. And we see the regret is about family, long-term, and a sense of confusion. There's a love interest that feels like they're really spiritually connected to you. And they, they feel like they're being naive about the situation and they want to have a conversation with you or pay you a visit. There's a love connection that wants to talk with you about the fact that they miss you and they're hopeful of the outcome here with you guys. There's a love connection that wants to speak something to you and wants to clear the air about moving forward to the future. Let's go further here. I want to come back to this blockage. Okay, Ace of Cups energy. Ace of Cups, what's that about? There's a reunion taking place. Someone from, someone you've known from before. So someone's coming in from before. You do know this person. There's an offer of love, romance here. There's a lot of regrets about what happened, okay? And we see something is being brought to light, some kind of confession, some kind of truth is being revealed here about this regrets about the past and love, Ace of Cups energy. Okay, let's go to the overall outcome here. I'm worried and stressed, Virgo, about a marriage long-term commitment and I want to get some advice or figure this out long term. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. I'm going to get some advice. You gain some kind of knowledge about this attraction. There is definitely someone who wants your attention. There's some delays and challenges here. There is a person who wants to make the effort towards a commitment, engagement, or marriage. Someone wants forgiveness. They want to resolve a situation. There's concerns about making, being free to make a choice. And someone trying to be open about that. We see you're very happy this week. You're seeing something from a bigger, higher perspective here. And there is a path for enjoyment this week. There is a sense of going with the flow and major changes coming in for you guys this week. There's definitely somebody who sees you as very attractive. So nines talk about fulfillment of desires. We see a long-term commitment, marriage, and some contemplation about this. I'm overwhelmed with responsibility here and I'm gonna have to make a sacrifice because of love. Wow. Timing is aligning here for this. You get clarity, Ace of Swords energy, about this situation from the past. Okay, that's pretty clear cut. That's pretty clear cut. So if you're not the one in the marriage, the other person could be coming off of a marriage or still in a marriage or in a long-term commitment. And they're, they're choosing you, Virgo. They want to hold on to you. Okay, let's um, get you guys some advice considering the fact that this situation is so complex. Okay, so what should Virgo do for their romantic love life, for their highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them, July 3rd to the 9th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I would say give it some time. Okay, but that's 
Let's just see what the cards say. It's saying that you have more power than what you realize. You can preserve this situation. But it's saying definitely look at your options. You have an abundance of possibilities here. It's saying um, to talk with people and get clarity. And know that this situation is not going to be straightforward. It's going to be some ups and downs here. Stay positive. Congratulations on your abundance, but you will have to be patient. That's exactly what I felt. I was saying, I felt before I laid down those cards, I was like, Virgo needs to just give it time to see how things play out here because there is some complexities to this situation. So you have abundance coming in, but you're going to have to let things play out first. Because remember, this is a complex situation and you don't want to put yourself in a situation where it is complicated, right? Until there, there is a, a certainty that the, the ties have been broken complete with that situation, right? And look at the bottom of the deck. It's saying good things to come. And this for me is saying, just wait, you'll get to open this gift. Okay, so... But however, I want to say this, Virgo, okay, look, you guys have free will, right? You do what you feel is best for you, right? I'm only here as guidance. I'm not here to make the decision for you, right? You are here because you have free will. We're not allowed to. As, as readers, we're not supposed to. From what I have learned and what I understand spiritually the whole nine, we're only supposed to give you guys guidance and you guys make the decision, right? We just show you the information and it is up to you guys to to feel what is best or do what's best for you and uh, that is part of your free will so listen to your heart pay attention to your intuition you guys know what's best for you okay and um guys if you like it this way you want me to continue this way and i really appreciate it when you hit that like button let me know in the comments below also, my beautiful Virgos, I do love hearing from you guys in the comments below. So if this resonates with you, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I do read my comments, and I do love hearing from you guys in the comments below. And considering this situation, you guys also may want to check out your monthlies, which are up and available for you guys to watch right now for July. And it does cover love and wealth and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that could help you. So you may want to also check out that reading as well, and it is up for you guys right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys another date or two. And I will be on camera next time, guys. Don't worry. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.